Hi everyone, welcome back to my LP of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. In the last episode, I finally finished off the SSN and got the chop down ability. Now I can cut down trees, just like the old cut HM. And I even had time to take on the Vermilion City Gym, and even beat Lieutenant Surge and got the Thunder Badge. I almost forgot what badge it was. So now just three badges on me, I got five more to go, and now this is where... I start this episode right here at Diglett's Cave. That is that Misty actually escorted me over here, but I guess I could have just gone over here by myself. But no big deal. Anyways, here we go. I got a hunch I'm gonna be catching a lot of Diglett in this episode. Well, I'll be. Did you know this huge long tunnel? It was dug entirely by Diglett. I don't see any hidden items here. Nope. Okay, and down we go. Alright, just watch out for... I was gonna say, Diglets. Okay, that rock's not searchable. I'm just gonna take a look and see if I can find any items down here. So just be on the lookout for Pikachu's tail. Nothing yet. There's a big Diglet. That's probably what I'll go for first. Here we go. I guess we'll never know what a Diglett looks like from underneath, as in what its feet look like. <laughs> Switch to this, because I got plenty of those. So here we go. Hold still. Alright, that's good. One. Two. Oh, come on. Oh, that's much better. Come on, baby. One. Two. Three. Yes. Alright. Let's see how much experience I get here. It's my first Diglett. Okay, I got 180. Hey, there you go, Grape Juice. Oh, I forgot to put Embark on top of my team. Alright. Diglett, dig, diglett, dig. Trio, trio, trio. It prefers dark places. It spends most of its time underground, though it may pop up in caves. Now. Oh yeah, I was gonna put Embark back on top. Anyways, uh, Inoki, again, great job in the last episode. You did terrific against Lieutenant Surge. Anyways, let's see. Hidden items anywhere? Small Diglett. Jeez, Diglets are probably one of the smallest Pokemon in history. And here's one that's even tinier. He's probably like the size of a pebble. Come on, baby. Stay in. One, two, three. Yes. Give me lots of experience. All right, got some quick candy as well. All right, Ivysaur, you're almost to a Venusaur. Then after that, I can ride on my Persian. All right, hidden items. Nope. Nothing yet. Nope. Wait, what? Zubat! Are you kidding me? You have to be kidding me! Are you serious? Darn Shun! I was not expecting Zubat to be in this cave, and all of a sudden I just run right into one. Ah! No, screw you! Hold still! One. Two. Jeez, you pest! Oh, I'm off again. One, two, three. Jeez. <laughs> I can't believe it. Zubat in Diglett's cave. That makes no sense. I got pineapp berries, so that's better than nothing. None of those blue bars moved at all, though, because I only got Peasley experience. If Peasley is even a word. Nope, get away from me. This is a long cave, holy crap. And still no hidden items. Well, there weren't any hidden items back in the old games anyways. Even though I do remember find, uh, finding a hidden Max Revive in Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Alright, there's that ladder. I want to stick around though and see if I can find myself a Doug Trio. 
No, get away from me, Zubat. Okay, I was gonna go for the other Diggler, but that's no, no big deal. Being down here is like I'm almost gonna play whack-a-mole with all those Diglets. One, two, three. No. I like your nose, actually. It looks like bubble gum. One, two, three. Not that I would chew on your nose, mind you. But again, if there was so many Diglet down here in Diglet's cave, again, it'd be like whack-a-mole. One, two, three. Come on. Yes. Good job. All right. Experience time. Got some quick candy. You know, I might as well use that candy as well. All right, two more levels, Ivysaur. Almost there. All right, let's go with that candy jar. Let's see, it is... Right here, quick candy. And then Bark needs three. I'm gonna just give the grape juice. There. And looks like... That's it for now. Again, I'm gonna save those large candies for Grape Juice and Enoki. <laughs> I just noticed that too. <laughs> of all things, Lieutenant Surge gave me an autograph for beating him. I wonder if it's a sellable or something. It's gonna have some type of use. Also, I got, don't wanna forget to put away the SS Tech yet. Also, I don't think I need the town map. Wait, I don't think there's a way to store items in the PC. No, there isn't, so I'll look like, looks like I'll just have to keep it on on my, uh, or in my bag. Looks like I don't have a choice on that matter. Alright, here's the bubblegum-nosed Diglett. Oh, too late. One. Two. Okay, got a second chance for an excellent throw. Oops, too early. One. Two. Three. Come on, Diglett. Don't be a piglet. <laughs> if that made any sense. One, two, three. Oh, d -d -d dear. <laughs> I had to say that since I've already mentioned it. One, two, three. Okay, phew. And I get 106 and more quick candies. Kind of makes sense I'm getting the quick candies from a Pokemon that's pretty fast. But still, I'm looking for a Doug Trio. You know, I'll save- I'll hold off on the candy jar for a later time. I don't want to waste too much time here. There we go. A bigger Diglett. Here we go. Ah, too early again. One. Two. Alright, get an excellent throw here. That's better. Now stay in your Pokeball. One, two, three. Yes. <clears throat> oh, sorry, though. That came out pretty wrong. Aha! 509. Yes. And what's my catch? Um, yeah, three. Again, I don't think I'm going to get to 32. I'll have to get a lot of Pokeballs and Great Balls and Ultra Balls. And I mean a lot if I want to build a good catch combo. Again, it's I've heard rumors that something good would happen if you get a catch combo to 31 and beyond that. One. Two. Cut it out, Diglett. Now stay in. One, two, three, there. We're almost ten minutes of the episode already. And Bark's about to level up pretty soon. Alright, Doug Trio, where are you? I'm gonna start back over here. And just work my way back very carefully. Actually, how many Pokeballs do I got left? 19. Okay. Again, Doug Trio. Just watch out for the Zubats. 
Where are you, Doug Trio? A small diglet? Yeah, I'll go for it. Good experience. Here we go. And... Now. There we go. One. Two. Three. Yes, first throw, too. Come on, experience. There we go, 638. That's how it's done. Ooh, Heat Wave. What does that do again? I think it's a very powerful Fire-type move that when used, afterwards, after doing damage, it lowers the special attack stat by two, uh, two levels. Let's see if I'm right. If that's the case, then I'm going to keep Flamethrower. The user attacks by exhaling hot breath on the opposing Pokemon. Does it may also leave those Pokemon with a burn. Oh, so... Heat Wave is just a tad bit more powerful than Flamethrower. It's slightly less accurate. But... It is best to be used in double battles, according to how the sentence is put. Because it says leaves those... But I don't think I'm going to get into very many double battles. Again, it's t it's a tad bit pow powerful than Flamethrower. But, ah, oh, the accuracy, though. Whew. Should I take my chances? For a little bit extra power. The ability to hit two Pokemon in a double battle. They might get burned. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take my chances. I'm going to go with Heat Wave. I also noticed that Heat Wave only has 10 PP, but that's okay. Alright, you're going to get Heat Wave, Embark. I'll take my chances. And Grape Juice is about to level up again. Alright, let's see. Doug Trio. Doug Trio. Okay, here we are back at the start. Ooh, I almost ran to I almost stepped on a diglet. Come on, Doug Trio. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! You have to be kidding me! A shiny diglet! It's a shiny diglet! He's got blueberry bubblegum nose! Come on, baby! I don't care about the experience. Come on! One, two, three! Oh my god, I got a shiny Pokemon! Yes! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, I think my volume has peaked. I'm sorry I got you guys deaf. <laughs> yes! A shiny Diglett! Holy crap, Scoobs! That is awesome! Look at that! Wow. Yeah, there's that pink star up there near its name. Holy crap. Ooh. Guys, I'm like shaking right now. That is so cool. Wow. All right. That's cool. Oh, it's a big diglet, but it's not a shiny one. Jeez, I haven't run into a shiny Pokemon in forever. That was so cool. Well, let's keep going. All right, see if I can get this one. One, two, three. Nice. More experience coming. There we go. All right, there you go, Grape Juice. Now, both you and Anoki just need one more level, then I can use those large pieces of candy. And Ivysaur might actually level up in this episode if I keep going. Again, though, I haven't run into Doug Trio yet. Another Diglett. Small Diglett, alright. The catch combo's building, because mostly it's just Diglett around here. Hey, stop it. There. One, two, three. Now, how much will I get here? Because that catch combo is starting to build. It's getting better. Or maybe the combo is just fixed after I just have, you know... As long as the catch combo is two or more, it'll just stay fixed that way. And I'm just being lucky. Or maybe maybe it's going higher because the Diglets are higher level. 
Nonetheless, though, I'm making really good progress on the level ups. I'm sorry, I'm still really thrilled by catching that blue-nosed Diglett. I sound like it's... I'm calling it in reference to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or something, but still, a shiny Diglett. That is awesome. Another Diglett. Come on, Doug Trio, where are you? I'm pretty sure there's Doug Trio in this cave. No, I don't want Zubat. Shoo! Well, another large Diglett. Let's just keep going. Might as well take the experience. It looks like this episode will be nothing but me catching Diglets. I need, I mean, I need the experience after all. One, two, three. Alright, good. I can't remember what level that Diglet was. Let me look. 14. But wow! 594! You know what? I'm going to keep going with the Diglets here because the experience is just climbing. I'm also going to get a lot of quick candy. Alright, one more level for Ivysaur. I think Ivysaur is going to become a Venusaur in this episode. I got a hunch. Well, this is one of my favorite moves, but too bad I'm not going to be able to use it. Enoki and Embark are about to level up too. <laughs> the catch combo is 9. Alright, keep going. More experience coming. How many Pokemon? I got 14 left. Okay, got plenty. Oh, it's just too much to the left. One, two, three. Yeah, it's too bad it's not an excellent throw. It's gonna be a little bit less experience. <laughs> Way less. Got my two level ups though. It's no big deal. Inoki, will you learn a new move? No. The catch combo is a personal best right now. Oh, I tripped over a diglet. Alright, let's see. Now. Ah, just right timing. One, two, three. Alright, good. Let's get that experience. 230, alright. War Turtle gotta level up. War Turtle, you are 10 levels away before you get to a Blastoise, so it's gonna be a few more episodes. You know, I might, might as well just keep on catching Diglett until uh, I run out of Pokeballs. Wait, there's a Chansey in the Diglett's cave! Okay, well, there goes the catch combo. I might as well just go for the Chansey, because I know Chanseys can give really, really good experience. I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for the Raspberry. Because that ring, who looks bloody dangerous. Okay, here we go. Oh, I got it on the side. That's alright. One, two, three. Ah, close. Well, still, Chansey. You're mine. Now. Oop, too much to the left. One, two. Come on, baby. Please. Oh, I, threw, I thought I threw it to the right. Ooh, I had the right idea, but too much to the right. One, two, three. Come on, Chansey. Stay in your Pokeball. You rotten egg. Oh, right timing. One, two, three. <laughs> Darn, John. Hold still. Oh, I got another one. One, two, three. Don't ruin my Diglett catch combo. I just, I was just gonna say, do not ruin my Diglett catch combo by running away from me. <laughs> Screw you, Chansey. Way to ruin everything. I don't know why I should be mad about. It. I just caught a shiny Diglett. Well, it's about time. I knew there had to be Doug Trio in this cave. Hello, Doug Trio. Alright, six Pokeballs. Let's see what I can do. Oh, too late. One, two, three. First try with a Pokeball? Well, I got it now. It's in my Pokedex. Alright, got five Pokeballs left. Alright, a team of triplets that can burrow, burrow to a depth of 60 miles. It's reported that this triggers an earthquake. 
Dingle dig, dingle dig. Trio, trio, trio. And there you have it. So with five Pokeballs, I'm gonna stick around and see if I can catch any more so I can finish off the five Pokeball Pokeballs that I have remaining. Right timing, I just tripped over a large Diglett. Okay, good. One, two, three. Good. Hopefully, my Ivysaur will evolve into a Venusaur as well. It's halfway there. I just need to keep catching high-level Pokemon with successful catches. Hey, like this one. This one's perfect. Alright, here we go again. Yes! One, two, three. Woohoo! Alright, good experience. Almost there, Ivysaur! Yeah, the catch combo might actually be the trick on getting higher levels of experience. No, I don't want Zubat. That Diglett is not either neither big nor tiny. Same thing for that one. Oh shoot, there's that ladder again. Not that one. Oh, he almost tripped over another Diglett. There we go. Let's get the experience. Okay, good. Come on, stay in. One, two, three. Nice, okay. Getting better. High experience. Okay, not bad. Ah, oh, almost there, Ivysaur. And then you can finally become a giant piece of candy. <laughs> Again, the, the thought process of turning a Pokemon into candy. It sounds like cannibalism or something. <laughs> per per Professor Oak must be really evil, like, in disguise if he's doing that kind of process. Anyways, I think I only have two Pokeballs left. So I just gotta keep my eyes peeled for more huge or tiny Pokemon. Maybe I can get another Chansey. Again, Chansey in Diglett's cave? Again. Makes no sense. Ooh. That was close. This is going to be a hard episode to edit. I'll tell you that much. Oh, there's one. Here we go. Two Pokeballs left. Come on, don't fail. One. Two. Three. Okay, so far so good. Okay, wait, Diglett candy? I might as well just sell that, because I'm not going to have a Diglett on my team. Oh, Ivysaur, you're so close. If I can just get one more good Pokemon with the last Pokeball that I got, then that would do it. That would be so good. Let's see what happens. Alright, I hope this will do it. What level it's at? 13! Oh shoot, this is not going to do it. And I got a great throw. That's crap. One, two, three. Ah, sorry, Ivy, so I don't think this is going to be the level up that you need. 152. Ah. Oh, I'll have to catch one more. I'm out of Pokeballs, but I do have some great balls left. Let's check right now. Just, I'm just curious to see how much Ivy Sword needs for experience. 75. I can always catch something in the Viridian Forest, which is close by, but I mean, I just need to catch one more Pokemon in here, so I might as well just get the job done. And I guess it doesn't really matter which one I catch now, because Ivysaur is so close to getting to, an, to his needed evolution. Alright, perfect. Alright, last one for the episode. And there you have it. Now stay in. One, two, and three. Alright, there you go, Ivysaur. I can finally get you off the team. There. Whew. Ah. I'm glad can't wait to see what Venusaur looks like. 
Again, I chose Bulbasaur on my very first playthrough back in 1999. Yes! Good old Venusaur! Well, I won't be seeing him for long, because he's going to become candy. You know what? I just thought something, too. It is cannibalism, because when Venusaur becomes candy, he's going to be eaten by other Pokemon. <laughs> Makes sense. Anyways, the flower on his back catches the sun's rays. The sunlight is then absorbed and used for energy. He's going to learn... Pedal dance like I care. Alright, before I do anything else, let me get out of this cave. Thankfully, I'm right here. Oh, what do you got to say? I've heard that there's a tunnel even darker inside than this one somewhere. Somewhere out there. It must be Rock Tunnel. But regardless, here I am. Now, I saw an item back here, so I might as well go for it. Aha! That's what I like. Anything in the bushes? Nope. Alright, so let's see. I did take some, like, some timeouts here and there to look for Pokemon, so... As such, you'll probably see a lot of edit cuts. So, right now on my computer it says 31 minutes, but I'm gonna spend another few minutes wrapping things up so I can get myself the old amber and finish up what... This route has to offer, that that is on this side of the route. So, I'm going to go this way first. Marcus, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. I'm so glad I ran into you. Why don't I show you a neat trick? Actually, no. It's a little too bright out here. Inside, I'll be waiting inside to show you. Whenever you're ready, Marcus. Must be the, uh, whatever flash is going to be. Alright, so, you came, then let's get down to brass tax, or taxes. I've got something good to show you. Believe it or not, I have mastered the secret technique, light up. Now, let me turn off the lights and... There, nice and dark. Now, if you calm your heart and breathe deeply, you'll be able to sense your surroundings, no matter how dark it is. See, it seems bright, even with the lights off. My keen focus spreads to those around me, you see? Here, I can teach you how to do it too. Huh? It seems Pikachu wants to learn it instead, Marcus. What? And you said it already knows the secret technique chopped down? I see. Professor Oak has men had mentioned it, but it really does seem that your Pikachu is special. Fascinating. Let me try to teach it. Here, let me turn off the lights again. Now, Pikachu, follow what I do. Calm your heart, breathe deeply, and sense your surroundings. There you go, Ohm. Two techniques down, three more to go. You're a Pikachu. It really is quite wonderful. Now, use secret techniques to your heart's content. Since there's not, they're not moves, you can use them even if your Pokemon doesn't have the energy to battle. Well, there's one little kid I can talk to over here looking at the calendar. You, get, you can get through the rock tunnel if you use the secret, secret technique light up. Do you know where the rock tunnel is? You'll find it if you head east from Cerulean City. Yep, do that. Alright, let's go... Oh, sick Graham. Oh, Marcus. Did you learn how to use light up from Professor Oak's assistant too? What? You didn't learn it, but Ohm did? That partner of yours really is amazing, Marcus. Hey, you know what? I actually know some place where you might be able to use it. Want me to take you there? Oh boy, he's not going to take me to Rock Tunnel, is he? Uh, I'm going to take my chances. Let's see what happens. Alright, we'll be there in no time. Come on! Wait, what? You took me all the way to Cerulean City? You dumb phony, it wasn't done yet! Me you put the... So, just head east here from Cerulean City. That's this direction. Got it? Just keep going this way, and you'll eventually hit this cave system called the Rock Tunnel. I hear it's pitch dark. If you use light up, though, you don't have to be scared of the dark. See you around! Dang it, Zikram! You just screwed everything up! Ah. Shoot. You know what? Do I have to heal? Let me look. I don't think so. No. 
But you know what? It says 34 minutes on my clock. You know, do I have anything to sell? Much? Let me check. I'm gonna do a little bit of review here. I do. Let's go do that right now because it says 34 minutes on my on my computer. So I'm gonna finish off this episode by selling a few items and probably buying some great balls, and then I'll call it good. What I'll do is let me do this first, actually. Let's see. Super repel. I don't need that. I don't need the tiny mushroom and the nugget. How much? How much is that cookie worth? 175. I'll just keep it. And wait, I can't sell the autograph. It must have some type of purpose or something. Oh look, there's Diglett candy that I'm not even gonna use. Ten dollars. It looks like a chocolate truffle. Well, don't need it anyways, though. And for that, whoops, no, 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 I don't want to sell. Here we go. Great balls, I have 16. I'm gonna buy... I'm gonna buy 10 right here. Get myself a premier ball. And then I'm gonna buy 10 more. Actually, if I bought 20, it would give me two premier balls, right? Well, this is the safe method anyways. So I'm gonna just do it this way anyways. There. That's better. Alright, so. In the next episode, I'm just gonna cut through and head back towards between Viridian City and Peter City so I can finish what I was doing. Again, thanks a lot, Sick Graham. You just screwed up everything, everything that I was gonna try to do over there. And that also means I didn't get the old Amber either. Darn chun, Sick Graham! You have to screw up everything! <sighs> Anyways, at the start of the next episode, I'll be back near Pewter City in Viridian City. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And, like I always say, take care. And, oh yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe I caught a shiny Pokemon. And I actually have footage of it, too. Holy crap. I bet you guys are just as thrilled as I am. But that's enough about that. It's not like the Diglett is going to be on part of the, the team anyways. But I'll tell you this. In the next episode, I'll show it off. So, enough of me rambling. I'm going to call the episode good here. Like I always say, thanks for watching, and take care.